And in five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, drive. Drive, come on. Come on. Drive, 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 drive. So the main reason for doing this vlog was one to show in real time how the program works but also to show different fitness levels so people that are serious athletes want to be a world champion from people that just want to be better versions of themselves so this program is to make the engine bigger better more efficient and it'll help and add to whatever your skill base is whether it's martial arts whether it's soccer football any other sport but skills pay the bills, but if you don't have the engine to do it, you won't be able to do it. All right, so we have a new arrival at the gym. This beast. So if you're ever gonna get a piece of equipment for performance athletes, this would be my suggestion. This is a rower. But not like any other rower, this is a Concept 2 rower machine. And the difference between this and any other one, it's calibrated. So it gives a wattage readout. And there's nowhere to hide when you're on one of these bad boys. All right, so what we're gonna do is, Kieran's gonna do his test. He's warmed up for about five, 10 minutes. And uh, we're gonna start him off at eight kilometers an hour for three minutes. 162. We might have one more after this. This might be our last one, okay? All right, so we're gonna start Candy a little bit slower than normal because she's not used to... Because <laughs> I'm a beginner. Yeah, because she's doing the beginner's program. So I've got the, the incline a little bit at like a small bit of a 5% increase and then she's gonna start at 5K an hour. Um, so if you're, if you're struggling with running, you can put up the incline a little bit and lower down the speed. So we're gonna start her off at five. Ready? I do have to know. All you gotta do is... Yeah. And there we go, off we go. Three minutes. Okay, so first three minutes gone, taking out of the pulse. And then go up half a kilometer an hour. You all right? Stuff. Okay, gonna start you off at uh, five kilometers an hour. We're gonna start Tori off at five kilometers an hour, not eight. Because he's not used to this kind of uh, pressure, I suppose. So if you're normally used to doing a lot of training or intense training, eight or six is high enough. But if you're less, you're more of a constant pace stuff, like you just basically do jujitsu, right? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't really push himself too hard anaerobically. So we're gonna start him at 5K an hour for three minutes, okay? Yep. Okay. Start yeah, you start jogging. So you got three minutes, all right? <laughs> Perfect. Keep it going. Last 20. So you're going to do jujitsu now? Yeah. <laughs> are you really, are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what point did that start getting hard? Uh, it was, I don't know really, it was actually quite hard at the beginning, because that's not my normal pace. Right. So going a little bit slower, Steps, yeah. I found more difficult. Then when it started to speed up, I could stride and bounce a bit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and then the last one was the last one was started to get challenging for my breathing. But yeah. Then my breathing was fine. Um, the lactic acid in my lower legs actually started quite early on. Right. Um, but you don't run much, do you? I don't run yeah. much, so that was why. Oh. But uh, yeah, no, like the, the last one definitely my, I had to concentrate. Concentrate my yeah. breathing. Perfect. Once you have the fitness test done, you're going to use the fast zone calculator and that will give you the three different zones that you're going to train in for the rest of the program. And they are green, orange and red. So the other thing that the site has is the calendar. The calendar will give you what you're doing for the week. It'll give you a schedule, it'll give you the equipment to use and it'll give you the heart zone that you're training in. So I'm on the way into the gym. Tonight we have Candy on the bike. 
25 minutes in their green zone. She is on the two day intermediate course. And then we have Tori for his first taste of the row machine. Uh, I think Tori's gonna pull some big watts because he's a big guy. So he's doing his, uh, his 30 second red zone max effort. With the max efforts, especially with the 30 seconds, this different one. So the 30 second max effort should be as hard as you can go for 30 seconds. Same with the one minute, as hard as you can go for one minute. Personally, I do check my pulse meter. I do have it on just to kind of give me something to look at, but you don't need it. Come on, drive, 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 drive. Keep going, 15 seconds, halfway there, come on. Get that 400, get it, get it, get it, get it, come on. Get it, there you go. Drive, 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 there you go. Come on, Corey. Get that up to the six now, come on, get the six, drive. And again, come on. And again, get this, there you go, keep it now. Get it, get it, get it, beautiful. And again, that's it. Drive now, come on, drive, 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 drive. Good, get it over 400, come on. You got there, there you go, keep it down there, faster right. That's it, pick up the speed. What do you think of that? That was really tough, actually. Um, on the last one is when I found it really, really hard. Um, but I mean, look, it's my first time doing it, so. So you did three sets of three 30. sets of three sets of thirty seconds. Yeah. With a minute and a half rest in between. Well, um, when did you start to feel it? Um, I'd say. Well, actually, the, on the second one. When you told me that obviously I wasn't going um, hard enough, although I thought I was going really hard, um, that's when I started to feel it. And then for the third time, on the third go, um, that was, I really, really felt it then. Because then I was conscious of keeping the stroke rate up. And it was just really hard to maintain in the last, say, 10 seconds. That was tough to keep it at 400 and over. So that's the end of week one. The whole idea of the vlog is to help people that are already on Connor's training program and for people that are interested in getting involved in the MacLife Fast training program. So next week, I'm gonna do a little bit more Q&A, follow the guys that you saw this week, see how their progression is, and hopefully you're gonna learn a little bit from it. So, oh yeah, we've uh, some new stuff coming out from Connor shortly. Stuff from 205, and then stuff what he's been doing lately. So stay tuned. It's the Mac Life. We're after.